They have the football on Gibbs' eight-yard line. It's first down and goal. We are underway. Jeffer standing, hits the slant pattern, and stride for six. That's number five, Joseph Elkins, and in two plays after the turnover, Campbell County gets their st- first State Farm agent Lynn Ray touchdown of the night, and that is exactly what we said Campbell County needed to do, Jamie. Jason, key to the game, checked off, early start. That's exactly the top of game Campbell County wants to play. Get them early, get them often. Nope. It's Mr. Bailey. It's beast mode number seven, Nick Hit Bailey him. in there. Go after him. He loves it. Three backs in front of him. He'll run off the left-hand side as usual. Roar! Six! Roar. Yep, Nick Bailey, not to be denied on that play, just lowered the shoulder and got in to tie up this football game, pending extra point. Jeffers in the shotgun. Will stand. Has time. Now he's broken loose out of the pocket. We'll throw it deep downfield. Man wide open. Ha, ha, ha. 20, 20, 10, 5, 6. Corey Phillips. On the broken play, gets behind the Gibbs defense. State Farm agent Lynn Ray would have liked that one as Corey Phillips all alone. Jay, give every ounce of credit on that to Jeffers. He was under pressure, rolls out. He's not comfortable throwing the ball like that. He's a pocket passer, slings it perfectly downfield to a wide open CP3. They have it on the Gibbs 22-yard line. Three receivers up to the top, two down to the bottom. Jeffers will stand in the pocket, fires it deep downfield to Corey Phillips. He's at the five, four, three, two, one, six. Corey Phillips. In stride for a State Farm agent, Lynn Ray touchdown, and Ethan Jeffers couldn't have put that in there any prettier. I didn't see anything. I mean, basically, that's our MO. Third down and 15. Gibbs not suited to pick up third down and 15. They will attempt their second pass of the night, and he is spun around and Ooh. sacked by the Campbell County defensive line, and Nick Bailey strips it out. Is that going to be a fumble? 10, 5, 6. Nick Bailey stripping the football out as they didn't call him down, and Matt Price's defense puts Campbell County up by a two-score margin. He's Canadian League baseball, Jay. Third down and seven, 14 seconds left to go. Booth will drop back, chuck it downfield. This time, it is well over the <laughs> intended it's receiver's Corey Phillips head. Again. Skyler Lane was who he wanted to go to, and Corey Phillips just kind of hit the shoulder with that one because he wasn't. Uh, Something's going on on our roof. Well, it's it's Coach Price. It's, I think Coach, Coach Price, Price might be getting ready to tear the place down, and all the fans are just staring at him. <laughs> yes, they are. Every single person in this entire zip code is staring at Coach Price right now. <laughs> Fourth down and seven. Nine seconds left to go. Campbell County leads 35 to 28. Preston Booth will come up. Guys, get on the bus and get home with a win. Booth, back to pass. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Lots of holding. In trouble. Still has the football. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Chucks it upfield. Now it is oh, incomplete. God. And this game, mercifully, Woo, finally, is over. Goodness gracious, thank goodness this one over is over as Campbell County will get to the open date, ranked number seven in the state at seven and one. Thank you, Frank. What a score. They just told us the uh, central score there. We're trying to finalize it. Central 57, Clinton 54. That's kind of a surprising score. We do have... Head coach Justin Price with us. And, Coach, first off, you've got to be looking forward to that open date next week. I mean, it's a miracle of miracles that we've not got a whole lot of guys banged up after, you know, eight weeks of football. But tonight felt like one of those nights where you didn't have your best stuff, but you just hung in there, hung in there, hung in there, and thankfully came out with a win. Yeah, I told our players at the game it's the prettiest win I've ever been a part of <laughs> because the thing is we won. And, and if you think about our program, where we've been – and where we are right now, we're going to take a win no matter what. Our kids are learning how to win ugly, if you want to say that. They're learning how to win big. They're learning how to win the close ones, learning how to beat good teams. Uh, so, like I said, this is the prettiest win we've had. And uh, just very proud of our kids. Now, with that said, you know, we didn't play very inspired football tonight. Very, I'm going to be very critical myself this week. Uh, and, and it goes to our assistant coaches, then it goes to our players. And we just got to find, you know, it, it, this grind this season – 
it's new for us. You sort of hit the nail on the head there is basically didn't have our best stuff, still came out with a win, and that it, this was an environment that Campbell County teams of old would have folded up. They had several opportunities, didn't do that tonight. But you and I talked earlier in the week, and you felt earlier in the week that you guys weren't having your best week. But you said one thing, that if Ethan Jeffers comes to play and Nick Bailey comes to play, you like our chances in any game. And Nick Bailey tonight, monster turnover down there to put you guys up by a score of 35, I believe. Was it 35-28 at that point? Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah, you know, the thing about Nick Bailey, he's just one of those guys that uh, he does bring it every week, and, and that's why he's so good at what he does. Just very proud of him and what he what he's become as a as a leader of this program and a football player. And, and I thought Ethan Jeffers played very efficient tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Like we, we talked earlier in the week, their defense is very chaotic. We knew we would score in ways that we probably hadn't scored all year, like a scramble throwing it deep. We hadn't done that all year. So, uh, right. you know, just very proud of all of them. You know, they, they took Trey Torres away. And talking to their coach pregame, I knew that they would be all over him. And, and, and Trey's one of those guys that gets us going. He's kind of the, the spark plug for us. And uh, as coaches, we got to go back to drawing board and, and make sure we still get him touches even when people try to take him away. Tell you what, Coach, we'll let you get into a much-deserved week off here telling you the score from Gibbs High School. Campbell County victorious tonight by a score of 35-28 to to get to 7-1.